Hi, this is Steven Chin, Night Hacking at the JFocus Conference in Stockholm. And with me is Ben Pazero. Hi. And we're going to be chatting about doing type-safe JavaScript using the, the new TypeScript language for Microsoft. Mm -hmm. So just to start off, tell, tell me a little bit about, give me the 30-second elevator pitch on why I want to use TypeScript instead of JavaScript. So if you have a large JavaScript application, like over 10,000 lines of code, and you work in a team with several people, uh, and uh, uh, you want to have like a type-safe language to represent your work, then uh, you should go with TypeScript. And the main benefit for me, actually, is because I was using just JavaScript before, is it's very close to JavaScript. So you, are not, you don't have to learn an entire new language. It's very close to, to JavaScript. So you okay, will be so very this happy. Is, this is really type safety but designed for JavaScript hackers. Exactly. So it's very comfortable yeah. if you're yeah. familiar with yeah. JavaScript yeah. constructs. So it's like, uh, and, and what TypeScript tries to be is very close to the ECMAScript 6 standard. Mm -hmm. So uh, whatever will come in the future with classes and module syntax is already how TypeScript works today. So okay. it, do, you think, it, do you think maybe TypeScript will be a future ECMA evolution of JavaScript? Huh? Well, uh, uh, what I believe Perhaps. will happen is <laughs> it comes closer together. Yeah. Like the, the syntax. Yeah. yeah. OK, so why don't we dig in and show a little bit of the code. Um, so I have your, your screen up. Yep. So I'm, I'm here on, on the TypeScript lang.org website. And TypeScript is open source, an open source project. And it, it's, a, it's a superset of, of JavaScript. So that means uh, here I'm having some JavaScript code on the left-hand side. And uh, on the right-hand side, you will see like the compiled version of it. And it actually, not surprisingly, looks the same. And the reason for that is that any JavaScript file is already a valid TypeScript file. OK. So um, TypeScript compiles to JavaScript. JavaScript, exactly. So, and, and it tries to be very close to, to what you've written. So even white space is preserved and stuff like that. Uh, it gets interesting as soon as you start to use types, because that's what TypeScript is all about. Um, so let me just type here on the left-hand side. And this is the colon notion to introduce a type in, mm -hmm. in, in, your, in your code. And um, you will see the right-hand side didn't change. This means uh, that your types are erased on compiling. There's nothing that is added to your code. Uh, but we have some validation now happening, because uh. Uh, we see, hey, we expect a string. Um, so your literal whatever you pass here is, is not valid. So that's really like the idea is to have a rich language service that um, uses all these uh, type information. Got it. And um, if you do more advanced things, um, uh, like classes and modules, uh, let me pick the class system here, uh, then you actually see that you can have, with a very concise and short syntax, uh, create your classes. And uh, you don't have to do all the prototype dance that you usually have to do when you do this in, in JavaScript. It's very, very straightforward. Um, and then what else do we have? So there is uh, generics, which I think is a very cool feature. So if you, uh, if you use promise libraries, for instance, they mm -hmm. are usually uh, they complete in some future and return you a value. And uh, using generics, you can actually type these promises, and the return value is, 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 is strongly typed. Um, so, so you've taken types all the way to generics. It's, and it's, 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 it's all the way through. And, and, and what's really cool is, um, if, I, if I go back to this, to this example, is that um, actually TypeScript has a very powerful type inference type inference. So yeah. even if you don't use, like, explicitly annotate your types, uh, TypeScript understands that, uh, for instance, um, uh, a function, when I write one like, let's say, we have a function make message that returns something. Um, and, I, and I hover over this. This is actually the type that TypeScript infers. So without me uh. doing anything, he knows this make message is something that returns string, so, and so, so it goes it all the way like through. So it sounds like TypeScript could actually pick up type inference errors on existing JavaScript code exactly. without you actually doing yeah. anything or using yeah. the features. Yes. So you will find yourself, when you start migrating, um, putting your JavaScript in, you might already get errors, <laughs> because uh, some of the things you return uh, don't match with what is expected. And that's really very powerful. Yeah, um, that would be kind of funny when people realize that their code was actually yeah. broken all that yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> and, um, and, and the nice thing is, so we, we went all from JavaScript to TypeScript. And uh, you can start with your, your code base and just gradually add the types as you mm -hmm. go and, and benefit from the things. Yeah. Cool. No, that looks like a really good technology for um, making your, your JavaScript code much easier and more maintainable for, for yeah. big teams, which 
I think it's happening now that folks are doing large frameworks and building more rich client applications on the browser. And actually, you can, you can take it uh, one step further. Let me jump here to, to some other example. So um, if you write node code, yes. uh, um, you, you, you have a, a module uh, loading kind of thing, require like common JS in that case. And what TypeScript has is, a, is like a uh, um, very strong um, um, system for these modules. So you can just write your import statements here. And when you compile it down to JavaScript, it will just work like uh, your dependencies are expressed. And um, if I do that, I can actually go ahead and use the TypeScript compiler here to compile this to CommonJS. So that's like the compiler. You just use it mm -hmm. from the command line. It's, it's an open source uh, node module uh, um, that you can run. And then you see, actually, this is my JavaScript code in Node, and the import statements have been rewritten to require. Um, and we use Node on the server and uh, with TypeScript, and we use TypeScript on the client with, with an AMD module loading. And that has been a very good decision. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, no, that's a good lightning pitch of your talk. How can folks find more about TypeScript and um, what so you're doing? The, the, the best resource would be to, to go to typescriptlang.org. That's like the official entry point. Cool. And um, you will find the playground there. You will find some documentation. Uh, there's also an, a, a CodePlex page where the issues are listed. Like you can file bugs or contribute because it's open source. And um, then you're all set. Play with it. Cool. All right, well, thanks very much. Thanks, Stephen.